So this is my Egyptian themed stained glass window treatment. It's not true stained glass. It's um, it's actually movie gels. Roscoe lighting gels cut out and glued on a plywood covering that I put over the glass. <coughs> it's many layered actually. But I wanted the Egyptian iconography. You've got Kepara the dung beetle, the morning creator god at dawn who puts life into everything. You've got Sekhmet, the lioness. You have Nebethet, or you would know her as the Greek name Nephthys. You've got Aset, or you would know her as Isis, the Greek name. <coughs> That's another Isis here. That's the Ankh, the symbol of life. And that's another Isis. It could also be Het Heru, Hathor. They're kind of indistinguishable. Then you've got uh, Inpu, Anpu, Anubis, basically. And Bast, Bastet. You have another Ankh and a Wadjet Eye of protection. And then the Ankh, the symbol of life. And over here, you have a Bijeti. The Bajeti is a winged solar disc that's over every temple in Egypt. Keeps evil spirits out, nothing evil can pass underneath it. Into the temple. Kepara. And then down here, another Wadjet eye. Eye of Heru, the eye of Horus, the eye of Ra. <coughs> another Isis. And over here, you would know him as Tohota, Tohoth. Jehuti is his comedic name. He's the ibis-headed god of knowledge. Anyway, the way I did it is I, uh, I got a Chinese window stained glass sticker. That's the textured pattern you see behind. And I, and I stuck that to the window neatly. And then I ordered these little cutouts of the different gods and, and iconography. And I applied that on top of the uh, Chinese stained glass sticker. But the colors weren't saturated enough for me, so then I made a plywood board to go over top of that and ordered the lighting gels to cut out and glue onto the board so that the colors are really saturated. When it's hot like it is now, you don't want any bright light coming through. You want rich, deep, cool light coming in. So. This helps cut down the the temperature in my theater room. Anyway, thought you might enjoy seeing that. It's another Egyptian themed uh, window treatment that I came up with. You've got the Eye of Horus the, or the Eye of Ra. You've got Ra Heruakti. It's another Ra Heruakti. You've got Anubis, or Anpu, Yinpu, Witwawit, whatever you want to call them, many names. Another one, big fan of Anubis, he's cool. I think Anubis was the first Batman. He was kind of a superhero to the Egyptians. He was certainly one of the last guys you saw on your journey in the afterlife. He would escort you to the scales of Ma'at, where your heart would be weighed. And if you'd led a crappy life, well... A meat the devourer will come and devour your heart. And then of course, Bast. Bastet's a great goddess. She's a domestic goddess. She protects the home. Just like a good cat. Sweet and loving, but also can be very ferocious. <laughs> if you rile her up. And this is the eye of providence. You see this a lot in, in like money and Freemason stuff and things, but it's another all-seeing eye, the eye of God, eye of protection. This one is a different kind. This is a static cling textured one. It's made in China too, I'm sure. And the stickers don't stick to it, so I had to put them on the outside of the glass. That looked pretty cool. Give you privacy in the room, but also a theme. And then at night, when the light's on in here, it shines out outside and you see these patterns outside. So that's kind of fun.